What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I don't upload that often, but we're filming this on my iPhone XR. I got a new phone, finally. Still not 100% transfer transferred over to it yet because it's SIM lock, so I had to get a carrier bypass chip. But in this video, we're going to be showing off my iPhone 4 CDMA that has been downgraded to iOS 5.1.1. That's right, this is an iPhone 4 CDMA on iOS 5. Now if we go back... Now we'll go to general and about 5.1.1 and this is the CDMA iPhone 4 because this one comes with the uh, no SIM tray. Now how well does this run? Well it runs great. Um, the reason why I went to iOS 5 instead of 6, because you can downgrade this to 6 if you wanted to, is because iOS 5 does not have issues with AirPods. Because uh, AirPods actually have a issue on iOS 6 and 7. Those are the two versions of iOS I've noticed it with, where if the audio stops, the audio, like, if the music that's playing stops or whatever is playing stops, and then you play it again, the audio cuts out. So, um, yeah, there's jailbreak tweaks being developed to fix that. iOS 5 doesn't have that issue, so I just I just put it on iOS 5. I mean, I mainly use this as, like, a music device only. Like, I can play Travis Scott on here. Yeah, this thing is pretty cool. It was on iOS 7 when I got it, but I downgraded it to 5. So, this the tether downgrade is what I had to do with this. It's called Geek Grade. Now, the, the downgrade's only tethered. So what that means is the battery dies or you restart the device, you have to plug it into Red Snow to get it to boot up. Now, I actually have an old Mac that I put Red Snow on. It's, um, well, it's my 2012 MacBook Pro, but I have a partition on the SSD. It's like 60 gigabytes because I don't use it. It's only for like stuff like this, but it's got Mac OS X Snow Leopard. I mean, not Snow Leopard, I'm stupid, um, Mountain Lion. I always think of Snow Leopard for some reason, just because that's spread. It's got a cool wallpaper, but uh, no, I used uh, Mac OS X Mountain Lion to um, downgrade this. I did do it in the past with Windows 7, but my PC, you know, I had to install VMware because VirtualBox didn't work, and, you know, it's just a whole process, and my license for VMware Workstation Pro expired, so did my um, Windows 7 copy, so... OS 10 uh, Mountain Lion was better. Yeah, this thing runs great. It runs, like, smooth. And this is an iPhone 4 that's from 2011, the white one. So iOS 5 would kind of make sense for this device just because of um, how later on it was. I mean, sure, they had the Verizon one not too long before the white one. But now they have, like, the white one. Like, you know, these ones came with newer versions of iOS. It took Apple a while to develop the white color for these, but um, yeah, it, it works. I can use iMessage. Let me just make sure there's no actual, like, you know, stuff on here that's... Um... Okay, so there's nothing bad on here. This is just, like, I was texting my friends and stuff. Um, I text myself. Let me just make sure I didn't... Uh, here it is. So, yeah, I just, I just text myself on iMessage. <laughs> FaceTime works still, I think. I don't know. I haven't really tried FaceTime, but uh, if we go to... Hold on. We could call Empire today. It'll try to call, but there's no service, so it won't work. Yeah, we all know what the outcome will be. It won't work. Yeah, no. Uh, the weather app works again, because I installed that tweak that fixes it. There's a tweak that you can get that allows you to use the weather app again. So let me just make sure. Yeah, it says update failed. Uh, cancel. Cannot activate cellular data network. Cancel. See, it actually saves like the actual locations and stuff that I put on here. <laughs> Leland Grove. That's the area I used to live in when I lived in Illinois when I was like 12. So, you know, I just keep like locations, previous locations I've lived. Oh, we got Google Maps, but I'm not even going to open that. YouTube does work. I was watching Tranium. 
In fact, let me try to get this. Oh, wait, no, my hotspot's not on and I'm not grabbing my other phone. But I was going to say I can actually get on YouTube and watch Tranium on here. If you guys know who Tranium is, pretty good YouTube channel. You know, he um, he's one of the Moan Boys, friends with Crispy Concords. Let me actually plug this into my iPod dock that I have. It's the Logitech one. It's technically supposed to be like you could use a battery, but I don't have a power cord for it, so I made it wired only. Also, this is the first video I'm filming on my new desk, which I will do the room and setup tour. Don't know when, but I will. Also, the iPhone SE, this is not its actual screen or frame. My SE was red. And it also, the screen of it's on my iPhone 8. But yeah, the power buttons don't work. The part of the logic board's missing, so that's why they don't work. Because the part that's missing has the connectors for it. Back camera doesn't work, flash doesn't work. But yeah, this is my iPhone SE. Home button still works and everything. The only way I can turn on is with a like, lightning cable, just like my 5S. So when it, it still functions and everything. There's no vibe. When the hell did it turn on? Well, it's on. And then we have assistive touch to keep it off. I don't really use the 5S. I wish, actually. Oh, wait, I need DFU mode and I don't have a working power button. Oh, I was about to say I could actually downgrade this thing to iOS 10. Damn it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this is an old video right here. This is uh, one I recorded on the 5S. I, I tried upgrading the 5C. And the 6 was jailbroken. That was actually my old iPhone 6. But uh, I have an iCloud bypass one. I'll do a video on that one too. But yeah, the 5... I mean, the iPhone 4 on iOS 5. Let me just open camera. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. You can actually see me. I'll switch to photo. Hi. You can see I'm filming on the iPhone XR. Because the camera is sideways. And you can see the side button right here. And the camera. The camera. You know. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. You know. Like this thing works surprisingly well on iOS 5. I even have alarms on here. Like watch. I usually use my iPhone. Uh-oh. I didn't want that. This is what happens when you look at the device while fil using the camera as your eyes is it doesn't work too well. I uh, know this from personal experience because of how long I've been doing it. Eight ball pool. We're going to we're going to try to play. What? Oh, you bastard. Flashlight. See, I automatically open the app. It comes on and it turns off when I close it. Color. Obviously, that doesn't do jack squat for me. Uh, SOS. What's funny is that this thing is flashing like... It's kind of like it when it when it's showing on camera and when it then it's not showing it's off on an actual real time. Yeah, no, this thing has a compass too. This is pretty cool. I had this on my iPod Touch uh, on a couple iPod Touch fourth gens that I've had. I've had a lot of them. But yeah, it's cool experiencing the iPhone four on iOS five. You know, I can actually live like it's two thousand eleven. I mean, sure, it's 5.1.1, but still, I feel, you know, 2011, I didn't really even know what an iPhone was. I actually had no clue what an iPhone was. I have never even heard the term iPhone. But, you know, now I'm experiencing stuff that I never got to experience as a kid. I'm experiencing them now, like, as I'm a little bit older. It's pretty fun just screwing around with old Apple devices. Like, this thing, I'm going to get apps on here. I don't remember if I have AppSync Unified on here, but if, if I don't, I'll get it on here. So that way, I can actually... Um, I could play Angry Birds. Also, I've noticed that the whole time I've been filming, it's at 100% battery. Which is funny because my iPhone 5 that I have, I have a slight black iPhone 5. It's cracked. It's It was downgraded to iOS 6 tethered on my Mac. And I have to always plug it into the Mac to boot it up. 
I noticed that the battery sucks on it and this one is so much better. Like this phone's battery is impressive for being like what? Let's see, this one was probably 2011, I'd say. Um, For this phone, being from 2011, it's almost 12 years, it's about 12 years old and it works really well. This is a good battery too. Now this phone was white when I got it and then I converted it to a black one. Then I converted it back to a white one with a parts phone that my friend gave me, which is iCloud locked and it has issues. When I plug it into my computer, my Mac doesn't detect it. My PC just acknowledges that it's been plugged in, but it doesn't know what it's supposed to be. So I don't know what to do there. It's iCloud locked. I was going to try to bypass it, but I can't now. But anyway, yeah, this is the Verizon iPhone 4. You know, I can't believe Apple really took away the SIM card. It's just like the 14 glass back and the funny thing is so with the regular 14 you have to open the back to get into the phone just like the iphone 4 that's how you get into these things to take a to do a screen replacement you actually have to take everything out of the phone i know this because i've done it yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe catch you in the next one peace